What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today we're gonna to be going over the jailbreak tweaks that we're going to be seeing in iOS 10. So if these are some of the features that you've been looking for in iOS 9 and you're not jailbroken right now, well, you have something to look forward to in iOS 10. And this is also just to demonstrate that we've had these features for a long time. If you've been jailbroken and you've downloaded some of these tweaks, these are features that you're going to be seeing built in right into iOS 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up in iOS 10, let's talk about stickers in messages. So you can see right here, if we open up our messages that I've sent some stickers here, but basically all you have to do is tap on that arrow, tap right here, and then you can use the 3D press to bring up a uh, sticker and just drop that basically wherever you want. So we'll go ahead and drop one, another one right here. And you can see you can use that perfectly fine just like that. But before iOS 10, we had a tweak called Sticker Me, which would basically allow you to use Facebook stickers inside your messages. So very similar to what you're seeing here in iOS 10. Unfortunately, it's not going to work on this firmware that I have on this device. But nevertheless, this was a tweak and you can see a picture of it right here working where you have all your stickers right down here and you can send those off right there directly in line in the messages. Next, we have Control Center pages. So here in iOS 10, if we go ahead and swipe up on the Control Center, you can see that we can actually swipe over to a different page, which is actually going to give us our music controls. Now, this is something that obviously that we've had in jailbreaking community for a long time. Here is OXO Legacy Edition. As you can see right here, we have our toggles, we have all of our uh, apps that we can choose from, and we also have our music controls right there. Next, we have 3D Touch for the weather app. So if we go ahead and press down on that, you can see that it's giving me the location as well as the temperature outside and the high and the low. Now, you can also see right over here, if we go ahead and do that, that we actually get the exact same thing right here with shortcuts. So again, this is a tweak that we've had for a little while now, but of course it'll be nice to have that built in to iOS 10. Now, if we jump back into the messages here, you can see that if we put our device into landscape mode, we're actually going to be able to send handwritten messages. So if we wanted to send hello, just like that, you just tap done, and then you can send that off just like that. Now, you don't have anything really like that that you can use in the most current jailbreakable version of iOS, but there was a tweak called Graffiti that lets you do literally exactly that. Of course, in iOS 10, this is going to work a whole lot better than we saw with Graffiti. Graffiti was a very old tweak. I believe it was in like iOS 5 or iOS 6. But nevertheless, this was something that you could do way back in the day. Another nice feature you'll have in iOS 10 is the ability to get rid of home applications. So basically stock applications that you don't want to use. So for instance, if you didn't use the home app, then we could basically hold down our finger to get into wiggle mode. And you can see that you can actually X out or delete those applications from your home screen. This is something again that you've been able to do on your device with tweaks like Spring Tomize or even Hide Me X. So you can see right here, if we go into our icons, you can tap on app hide and you can literally hide any application that you want to right there. Lock screen widgets in iOS 10 is nothing new to jailbreak users. As you can see, we have a nice little uh, widgets right here on our lock screen. Again, you can do the exact same thing. Of course, they'll look a little bit different, but with tweaks like lock HTML. Now, if we take a closer look at the control center here, you see when we swipe up that the control center actually floats. It's kind of, you know, in a standalone rather than being connected to the bottom and the sides of the device, which we could obviously get in previous iOS versions if you were jailbroken with a tweak called floater. As you can see right there, basically does the exact same thing. Again, with the control center, you can see that we have different colored toggles and we can do that again with a tweak called cream. As you can see, we have all these different color toggles and that's literally exactly what cream does. Also down here at the bottom of the control center, you can see that we have a 3D touch on these uh, quick launch applications, which you can see you can have little different options here. Even with the flashlight, you can have low intensity, medium intensity, and high intensity. Now we have a pretty fairly new tweak called Quick Center that does something similar here that basically if we tap on this, you can see you get a little camera right there, or if you basically 3D press on this and you're gonna get uh, some options for your alarms. So a pretty similar tweak, pretty similar idea, not necessarily exactly the same thing, but nevertheless, if you're on a previous version and you're jailbroken, you can download Quick Center and try it out for yourself. Also here in the notification center, you can see if we go ahead and swipe down that we have a few messages here. But if we 3D press 
on the X button right here, you can see that you can actually clear all notifications all at the same time. Of course, this is going to be a whole lot more helpful if you have a ton of notifications here, but also you can do that on a jailbroken device, if we go ahead and swipe down here, tap on notifications, you can see that if we go ahead and 3D press, then we're gonna get an option to clear all notifications. Of course, if we tap on that, it should clear out all notifications. Also here in the notification center, you can actually 3D press on notifications, and that's actually going to bring up a quick view of the notification or whatever application that it's in. So for instance, on messages, if we go ahead and bring that up, you can see uh, right now it's actually glitching out, which I can't see the actual text bar, but you can see we have a quick look at our conversation as well as the ability to reply to that message right here. And if you wanna get rid of it, you just swipe down. And you also have a pretty similar feature here with the tweak called 3D Touch Notifications on a jailbroken device. Here on the lock screen, you'll actually see that we have a tweak called Watch Notifications that has a pretty similar look to the notifications that we're seeing on our lock screen here in iOS 10. Now I couldn't actually get a notification to pop up on the lock screen for some reason, mostly probably because iOS 10 is buggy right now, but you can still see what those notifications look like right here. They're basically exactly the same in the notification center. So very similar look for notifications here. Also here in the clock app in iOS 10, you have dark mode, which is highly anticipated and hopefully something that's coming uh, in, an, in a future update for iOS 10. But of course, back in, I believe, iOS 7, Eclipse was released, which basically gives us dark mode for almost all of our applications. Another nice feature that I'm looking forward to in iOS 10 is the raise to wake feature. So if we go ahead and pull this up, and I'm going to put the device to sleep, put it face down, and then once I raise it up, it should give me the lock screen without me having to actually press any buttons. So that's really nice, and this is something that we've had I believe since iOS 6, there might be another tweak that actually works with iOS 9 that I'm not aware of, but a tweak called Face Off 7 uh, actually worked with iOS 7. And I actually have an iOS 7 device right here, so you can see if I go ahead and raise it, it's going to go to sleep, and then wake back up just like that. So it works on iOS 7, doesn't work too well on iOS 9 right here. So that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you smack that like button. I would really appreciate it. Of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything Apple as well as everything tech, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.